so I had a bit of an epiphany I think that's the word this week I was really at a place where I was checking in on myself and what I was feeding myself what I was listening to what I was looking for what I was searching for and I don't know if anyone understand this but sometimes you find yourself searching for something and you don't know what you're really searching for and then you see one person whose video you have been skimming over and then you, know, you say you know what okay I've seen this video a million times let me click on it and then that person gives you that answer but not the answer for the complete solution for, for you right it's just an answer for you to consider and look at and create your concept around um, for example i watch a video from someone i've always been following for a very long time and uh, she helped me understand something about life and that resonate with me so much that i begin to see life my life differently my relationship differently my relationships across the world differently even on social media and one of the things that stood out to me is that she mentioned about how life is like a quest and that woman is professor melanie she's a spiritual instructor she um really helps you find your soul mission and i have been following her for a very long time and when I listen to her and she talk about quests and, you know, it's like a game, a video game. That's an example. And there are different quests. Instead of tests, we look at it as, as quests and we have to overcome these quests. And when we overcome these quests, we kind of get these rewards and the, what, our rewards look differently. And... I realize that sometimes life is not as serious as we take it to be lessons are meant for us to learn people are gonna betray us people are gonna let us down we are gonna feel sad we are gonna have days when we are questioning our sanity when we are questioning our reality we are gonna have days when we are going through those tough times and we're gonna ask why me and whatever the case might be but the biggest thing is is how you use these experiences for the next level that you're going to step into and that made me realize how scared i was of living scared of you know that feeling pain because nobody loves to feel pain nobody likes to feel heartbreak nobody loves to feel disappointment but that is part of the quest of life that is part of life that is part of you know becoming our best self evolving um seeing who we truly are behind all the mask and all the pretense and all the shadows that we create all the elements of ourselves that we have created uh, look and appear a certain way to the world and the truth about it you could appear to the world anyhow you want and that's what i love about it today i appear in a wig tomorrow you see me with no hair um you might see me in a longer wig and that is that is how i love life is not about fitting in anyone boxes uh living a certain way to please anyone because no matter how you live somebody's not gonna be pleased with it no matter how you live and for me it's just not taking life serious loving appreciating complimenting people being open and being able to enjoy the beauty of it because when i look back and see how sometimes i used to be so down and i used to want wish that someone would check on me and i used to um you know reach out to people and they would make promises that would never come true and i would feel a way and i would say you know what these people don't care i would say that and then i realized everybody have their struggle dealing with 
everybody is at a different level in this journey and everybody is not meant to go on this quest with me some lessons are meant for me to learn by myself some lessons are meant for people to learn along the way with me and as a spirit having a human experience balance is important balancing the physical with the spiritual balancing the spiritual with the physical and just know that there are limitations when it comes to the human aspect in terms of okay i can't throw myself off a building and fly but i can soar from a spiritual aspect my spirit can soar and then my spirit is abundant and there is nothing that I cannot do. There is no dream that is too hard for me to reach. And then it's all about me choosing how I show up for myself. And in this journey, it's all about the quest. It's all about experiences. And it's all about how you show up for yourself. So how are you going to show up for yourself today? It's Saturday and I'm out with my husband. We do this every Saturday once he has no work and he tries to not schedule work on Saturdays. And um, we go and we drive. We see different areas in New Jersey. And I love traveling. So this is like a mini traveling for me. And uh, it really, you know, frees me from the task for the week. And that is, it. that is what it is about living. It's about being. It's not about not taking on other people's burden. Not living other people's life. It's about living for you. And I know it is harder done. Or harder said than done. Because a lot of us are so fearful of disappointing others. And of, you know, really live living. Because we were taught. That we we were conditioned that our lives were meant to live a certain way. So that's what I wanna share. And I just wanna look, show you how you know pretty I'm pretty up. I pretty up myself. So yeah. That's my two cents for today. <laughs>